Um, all right, well then, we have a lot of people waiting to talk to you. We've been getting questions, knowing you and I were gonna talk again since yesterday. So let's get right to it. Let's get to um, it. We're gonna start with the big one. If you were in charge of the country right now, what top three things would you be doing? Well, you know, I think, first of all, I would be listening to my experts, and I think uh, Dr. Uh, President Trump has incredible experts right next to him. Uh, Anthony Fauci, Debbie Burks, uh, are, are some of the best in the country. So who else? Worst in the world. So I would be listening to my experts and hearing what they have to say. And you have to listen to your public health experts and you have to implement the program they're suggesting. I think what needs to happen is uh, we need to keep, uh, we need to do a close down of the country, which we really haven't done. And we need to do a 14 day to 30 day close out of the country to do two things. Number one, the most important is by doing that, by doing a shelter in home at a, at a national level, we would go ahead and stop transmissions going forward. And that will give us time to do two things. We need to scale up testing. New York State has done it very well, but other states have not. So you can then start identifying and isolating people and doing contact tracing. But you also need to give by that time to allow you to shore up our hospital system because our hospitals are really struggling to get through this 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 wave of patients that is coming totally and coordinating. And that's what we call flattening the curve. So those three things are critical. Once you do that, and you do it effectively and you do it well, then in, 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 in 30 days, I mean, I would say, honestly, I would say erase April from the calendar. And in one month, we will be able to reopen the country, reopen the economy and get moving because we will be able to do it with, with information and with a public health infrastructure in much better place than what it is right now. And you're talking, when you say shut down the country, you're talking about a, essentially a shelter in place. I'm essentially talking about a shelter in place of the country, yes. Very similar to what other countries have done. Um, the next question is, how long will we be in this situation? I remember when I asked you this last week, you said if we did everything right, four to six weeks, what I'm hearing you say today is if we do a complete shutdown, we could emerge out of this in a month? Well, we could start emerging out of it in a month. It's not going to be immediate, but we can start seeing the light on the end of the tunnel. The way we're doing it, haphazard, somebody does this, somebody does that, nobody does it consistently. Uh, I worry that maybe we may be in this, it, it feels like a little bit we are in, in, in in, in sort of a, a swamp. And, and I think we may be in, stuck in the swamp for, for quite some time, uh, six months, eight months. So, you know, not doing things right actually has a bigger cost than doing it. If, if this is a little bit like like chemotherapy. If you're gonna attack cancer, you gotta do it aggressively and, and you do it. You don't give a little medicine here and a little medicine here and a little medicine here because yeah. you're not gonna get rid of the tumor. You have to really have a strategy that addresses the tumor directly. What about people saying this is gonna come back no matter what, once it gets cold again? Although we don't even know for sure, right? What happened? You know, I, I mean, I think that's that's. Uh, let me go and get my crystal ball because I think that's something that nobody has any data, and that's a speculation at this point in time. And I think we need to not have no not speculate. We have to deal with the present, not deal with speculations about the future. You urged Governor Kemp to shut down the state. Um, you said we are nearing a point of no return. Um, how do you feel about the action he has or hasn't taken so far? So I think the governor has taken some actions which are good. I think he he had to walk that very fine line between shutting the state and giving mayors the opportunity to do things at their local level. Uh, I think what the what the what the governor has done is he's he's giving some directives to public health to implement some things that are necessary. But I think now that, that now that doesn't mean that's the end of this. I think this is a first step. And, and again, I would emphasize that now we really need to focus on scaling up testing in our state. We're way behind other states. And we need to really start focusing on shoring up our healthcare systems. It is not just in, in, in Atlanta, but I hear throughout the state, you know, Phoebe the Putney Medical Center is having some serious issues with a lot of patients going there. And we just need to really think about how are we going to support our healthcare system so, so patients don't overwhelm us very rapidly. 